50 to 85% of Americans actually don't get the recommended daily amount of magnesium. And this could contribute to magnesium deficiency in the long term, which could then contribute to heart disease, high blood pressure, and inflammation. There's been a lot of very suggestive studies. For example, this 2012 meta-analysis suggested that there is a close correlation between low magnesium level intake and heart disease. So what is magnesium? Magnesium is one of the trace minerals. It's called the micronutrients because the amount is very small. And these include things such as calcium, as well as selenium, iron, and also the vitamins like A, B, C, D, and so on. Mostly people with low magnesium tend to be a little hyper excitable, particularly with the nerves. So they might have, for example, uh, constipation, they may have sort of cramping, they may have these sort of myoclonic jerks that happen, as well as more nonspecific symptoms such as uh, tiredness and so on. Magnesium is found mostly in plant foods uh, as well as seafood. Seafood is because in the salt water there may be magnesium and accumulates in the bodies of uh, the fish and the shellfish and the plants because if they're grown in soil with magnesium they're going to have the magnesium. In the body the ma most magnesium is stored in the bones about 60 percent but also 20 percent in the muscles, skeletal muscles, as well as the organs, which explains why a lot of times you get these symptoms of muscle cramping and so on. Very little of the magnesium is actually stored in the blood, and that's why when you measure blood levels of magnesium, it doesn't always tell you if your body has too little magnesium. So why is magnesium deficiency so common these days? And probably one of the most important reasons is the declining magnesium in our crops. You have to understand that when you grow crops in natural uh, soil, in the past what would happen is that these crops would grow and then they would decompose and all the nutrients would go back into the soil. With the advent of the Green Revolution and sort of industrial scale farming, we came to rely more and more on chemical fertilizers. So instead of putting manure on our fields, we would put chemical fertilizers, and these are predominantly three things, the so-called NPK, N for nitrogen, P for phosphorus, and K for potassium. And we would put these because they could be made from uh, potash or they could maybe be dug up in soils and applied in huge quantities as opposed to organic fertilizers like maneuver or uh, other things like that. So these chemical fertilizers were very important for industrial scale farming and slowly over time because you're taking out magnesium in the crops but not putting it back in, what's going to happen is that over time the amount of magnesium in the crops that we eat, so the foods that we eat like vegetables and um, you know cabbage and all that sort of thing is going to go down. 